All right, so uh, I'm going to hopefully try and show you how uh, WebSocket communications work um, with this basic uh, echo server. So some prerequisites are you need node installed. Uh, the version doesn't really matter, but uh, probably just keep the latest one. <clears throat> I think the older version should work too. And then you're also going to want to install the WS or WebSocket package. Okay, now that we got that installed, I'll just paste in the script because I'm sure none of you want to see me type it. Alright, so let's explain this. <clears throat> so up here we're, uh, we're getting the package into the script, so we're saying we're going to use it pretty much. Right here we're defining a list of clients that will be connected. This will be used later on to, uh, to relay the message that's sent to the server to all the other clients, because that's what an echo server does. Right here on this line, we're actually starting the WebSocket. Then all this below is what the socket's doing on the server side. <coughs> so when someone connects, it'll say something connected. Then it will push the connected object up here. It'll push that into the clients list. So then it can be referred to later. So then when the client, <coughs> when the server receives a message, this function here will fire. So this one will say received message, and then whatever message you sent. But it also will do clients.foreach, so for every element in this array. So that would be like calling wsclient.send here, which will send it to every single thing connected to the WebSocket currently. You'll see this in practice and it'll make sense. So it'll send out to all those clients, clients defined here as the iterator, so client.send, message data dot two string, <clears throat> and that's pretty much it. This will just uh, make sure everything closes nice. Well, actually, I should probably make it pop from the array, but I mean, that's not, that's not something to really worry about for now. So anyways, let's start this up, and I'll show you how to actually interface with uh, computer craft. Okay, so now that it's started, <clears throat> let's go over to this left computer here and do Lua. And let's do uh, ws <coughs> equals http.websocket ws slash slash. Now this ws slash slash is very important. If you don't have that, this isn't going to work. So you're going to want to do localhost and then whatever port you defined up in this function. So in my case, it's 5656. So now we can see down here something connected. So now to interface with the WebSocket, we can do, for example, ws.send data. And you can see it's received that message. So here's where it gets kind of cool. If you wanted to send data between two computers without RedNet, and this also will work across worlds if you have this hosted, you can send, you can send data by doing, um, on the other computer, we'll I'll do the same thing here, ws equals... Yeah, sorry for the horrible audio quality. All right, now we have this other client connected. And on this one, we'll do ws.receive. And now this is going to just hang on that until it receives something. So from here, we can do ws.send. Uh, can you see me? <coughs> and on this computer, look what we got. We got some data. So... This seems like a very bad way of doing things, because you can't really specify a client. This is where uh, uh, stringifying things comes in, or serializing. So, say we want to make some sort of network packet. So let's do packet equals, and then uh, curly brackets. And now let's do, uh, <coughs> let's do destination, colon, colon. And then let's just set the destination to com2. All right, well, let's put a comma in. And then we'll do data. Oh, wait, I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to define a protocol, basically, to transfer things between devices. So let's say we want to have a source, or no, a destination. So we do in square brackets, destination, 
think I spelled that right. Destination equals com2, comma, and then let's do source equals com1. All right, so there's a very basic packet. Actually, let's add, let's add in some actual data here too. So a data field also. Now let's just do test data. All right, so then let's close off with that other curly bracket. Let's check it. So we should be able to do packet.data source. It should appear like this. Okay, so now we can't really send this packet directly because it isn't in a string, but that's where the text details come in from ComputerCraft. So let's say we want to do serial packet. And then equals textutils.serializeJSON. Uh, the <laughs> you can spell it with a with a Z or an S. It does the same thing. So then we put in packet. So now we can see if we if we uh, call serial packet, you can see now it's in the string, and the string can be sent over the web socket, like so. So you can see the web socket just received all that data. So now on this end, if we want to if we want to get this data from the other end, we do uh, we do uh, serialized packet equals ws dot receive. Now let's just send it again real quick. All right. So now on this end, it's a super simple. We do packet equals textutils dot unserialize json and then serialize packet. So now our packet is the same on both ends, as you can see. We do packet over here. So now that we have the data on both sides, we can we can do quite a lot with this. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the basics of it. Uh, 